We continue our study of energy by learning how energy sometimes travels from one place to another via two different types of waves. The first type is transverse, and it is the type by which all wavelengths of radiant energy travel. The second type is longitudinal, and it is the type by which sound travels. Read the introductory paragraph and pay particular attention to the highlighted sections. Go to slide two and complete the before you begin section at the top. Study this diagram of the parts of a transverse wave. You will be identifying these parts in the next few activities. Now turn to step six at the top of slide three. Draw the wave described in the directions onto a whiteboard, piece of paper, or directly into the slide and label the parts as directed. Then measure the parts of your diagram indicated in step seven and fill in the blanks. As directed in step eight, I will make three different waves with the characteristic indicated in the first column, pausing between each so that you can fill in the data table. Pay particular attention to how the motion of my arm changes as I make each wave. Fill in this row after you watch the next clip. I'm increasing the frequency. Next, this row. I'm increasing the wavelength. Now this row. I'm increasing the amplitude. Turn to the data table on slide four. You will be filling in the middle column as I perform the next two activities. First, I make waves at a slow, constant rate. Since each wave has only one crust, I'll count the number of times my hand reaches the top spot as the start of each new wave. The directions tell us to count the number of waves that occur in 30 seconds. Record that number in the top box. Ready, start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Now I make waves at a fast, constant rate, and we count for 30 seconds. Ready, start. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 49, 50, 51. Record that number in the lower box. Now you will use the formula in step 11 to calculate the frequency of the two different waves using the numbers you just recorded. Remember, we counted for 30 seconds. Now we move on to the section on longitudinal waves. I will use a slinky for the demonstrations in this section. Study this diagram of a longitudinal wave. You will be identifying these parts in the next few activities. Turn now to step three in the middle of slide four. Draw the wave described in the directions onto a whiteboard, piece of paper, or directly into the slide and label the parts as directed. 
Then measure the wavelength in your diagram as indicated in step four and fill in the blank. As directed in step five of slide five, I will make three different waves so that you can complete the data table. Again, pay attention to the motion of my arm as I make each of the three waves. Fill in this row after you watch the next clip. Here I am increasing the frequency of this longitudinal wave. Next, this row. Here I am increasing the wavelength of this longitudinal wave. Now, this row. Now I'm increasing the amplitude of this longitudinal wave. Look at the second data table on slide five. You will be filling in the middle column as I perform the next two activities. First, I'll make waves at a slow, constant rate. I'll count the number of times my hand reaches the spot farthest in toward the center as the end of one compression and as the start of a new wave. We'll count the number of waves that occur in 30 seconds. That was 37 waves. Record that number in the top box. Now I make waves at a fast, constant rate and count for 30 seconds. Record that number in the lower box. That was 70 waves. Now you will use the formula in step eight to calculate the frequency of the two different waves. Remember, we counted for 30 seconds. That's it for data collection. Now complete the analysis, summary, and application sections on slides six, seven, and eight.